and what I do is the swarm is looking for a dark protected place so if you see there's a straw skep under here let me take this off too so this is a straw skep beautiful now we put another one on but with winter coming on I'm going to leave this because that would be too much of a disturbance now for them and they need to settle in for the winter so mm -hmm. they have to consolidate everything and go through the winter and then next year we'll reconfigure things and yeah. see how that goes. Okay. How do you test for Varroa mites? If I had the capacity, I would make a sanctuary for the Varroa mites too. Because they're not the enemy. They're the messenger. Nature sends them to us to say that you're not doing things properly that the Varroa mite is one of nature's many ways to sort of send corrective information. I think the mite infestation is an example of nature's reaction to our unenlightened relationship to her. My wife and I attended a lecture a, a winter ago uh, where the fellow argued that lack of sustainability is the karmic consequence of immoral relationship to nature. That in fact, if your garden won't produce year after year or the bees will not survive, it's an indication that your relationship is not proper. And on some level, that's a moral consideration because you have a moral obligation to work in concert with nature. Mm -hmm. And if you do not, one of the consequences is lack of sustainability. So, uh, the mites are nature's way to tell us, have a second look at what you're doing. Okay? There's an, it's interesting, there was a, a, a study done on an island in the Baltic which is an isolated island, and what they uh, did, you know it? It's, no. Uh, they took Langstroth hives and put them on this isolated island. It was a big island, and it had enough flowers to sustain a, a, a community of bees. Mm -hmm. So they put the Langstroth hives on this island, and they deliberately inoculated them with Varroa mites. I think somewhere between 35 and 70 mites were put in every hive. Okay. Then they walked away from it, and they said, it's yours. We'll be back at swarm season to hive your swarms and to give you space when you need space and clean up and whatever. Uh -huh. In three years, 75% of the hives were dead from Varroa mite, okay? Uh -huh. In five years, the mortality rate dropped to 15%. That in fact, after five years, what happened was a kind of equilibrium established so that the mite and the bee population worked out a sustainable program and the bees changed and the mites changed until they developed this issue of sustainability. Now the problem is we with our modern beekeeping techniques don't allow that to happen because we're forever importing. When we lose bees we bring in new ones from the south or wherever mm -hmm. and so we never let nature establish that equilibrium we always have to intrude on it and change it okay mm -hmm. at least that's the thinking that's coming out of that work now and I, I see I'm fascinated if I if I win the lottery I'll buy myself an island and I'll do that <laughs>